Hey everybody, Sean Halley here. Uh, this is the first and what will undoubtedly become a series of tips and tricks videos on the Dream Rig, how to use it, what it does, and some of the neat stuff that you can do when you connect a James Tyler Variax, a Pod HD 500, and either a DT25 or a DT50 amp. So today, uh, in the rig I have here, I've got a James Tyler Variax. It's connected to my Pod HD 500 over the VDI, or Variax Digital uh, Interface, which carries both Variax modeling and the magnetic pickup signal down one cable. So that's going into my Pod HD 500. Out of my Pod HD 500, I'm going to my DT25 head over line six link, just one digital cable that carries all the audio and the controller data. And in a twist, I also have the XLR outputs on the back of the HD500 going into a pair of uh, mic pre's and then going into Pro Tools. So I've got a cabinet in the other room which is being mic'd up with a ribbon mic and that's what's gonna listen to the DT25 so that I can talk to you in here. And then I've got the outputs, the XLR outputs of the HD500 going discreetly into Pro Tools as well. So we're gonna be listening to three different signals at once. So on the floor here, I have a mission engineering pedal, which is going to be controlling uh, one aspect of the scenario here. And I'm also going to be using the HD500's onboard pedal to control some of the other aspects. And we also have a DT25 head here as well. So um, I'm going to zoom down into the iPhone view for the screen so you can see what's going on and how I've got this set up. Uh, a lot of people don't know that the HD500 can process two different discrete signals at the same time, 100% separately. So that means you could have two amps run at the same time with different signals in them, or you can run a hybrid version of that, which is what we're gonna do right now, and process both the Variax and the magnetic pickups differently, and then listen to the result. So uh, let's go down there. All right, so let's get an idea of how I've got this set up. Uh, via the handy iPhone cam, you can see the screen of the HD500 there. And so you're seeing that I've split the signal path into two separate parts, and we call this dual tone, if you ever see that written down somewhere. So on the bottom half here, I'm gonna send the Variax acoustic sounds through this path, no amplifier. It's gonna go right through the mixer, the volume pedal, and then out through all these effects. So at that point, it's gonna go right to Pro Tools HD via the XLR outputs on the back of the HD500. And then the top path is completely separate. So I'm gonna send the magnetic pickups from the James Tyler Variax through this path here. And so I'm gonna pinch the signal right after the amp and send it directly to the DT25. So none of this extra stuff is gonna be involved in this path. It ends right there and goes right to the amp. So I'll show you how to set that up. If you hold the view button for a couple seconds, you'll get the preferences menu, pop down to the third menu, and this is the inputs tab. And you can see that the first path, which is the one on the top, I have Variax mags set to, so that's gonna feed that path. And the second path on the bottom, I have that set to Variax, so that's gonna be the acoustic guitar models for this. Now, if we pop down a little further, you've got the Line 6 Link audio setup page. Now, because I'm sending all this stuff over to the DT25 over Line 6 Link, I can choose where that signal gets pinched in the signal chain. So right now I'm saying, look, pinch the signal right after amp model A. So nothing else can happen after that signal chain. Pinch the signal right at amp model A and send it right to the DT25. And now basically all I have to do is set up the expression pedal on board the HD500 to control the output of this guy. So I have separate control of each. This volume pedal here, which is the mission engineering pedal over here on the right, is controlling the output of the acoustic sound to Pro Tools, but I need to also control the output of this guy. So if I double tap the move button, I get the parameter assign page and you can see that I've got the parameter for the Plexi, this is the new Plexi model, I've got the parameter for volume being controlled by the EXP1 pedal, which is on board the H500. So if I go and uh, look at the, the parameters here, if I move the pedal, which is a little knob, see, so the pedal is now controlling the amp output. So now I have completely separate control over the acoustics and over the electric magnetic sound, and now I can mix them together, and I'll show you how to do that. Here's the dry guitar. <laughs> And here is the wet acoustics going right into Pro Tools. Which is pretty cool. So I can mix and match them to my heart's content. Pretty cool, think of the possibilities of doing that live or in the studio, pretty neat. Now, you can also completely add even more wacky effects to just the wet chain if you want. So, wet acoustics again. Now you add a big old phaser. 
Too wet on its own, but it actually works really well when you add in the dry guitar. So hopefully that gives you some ideas of your own to play around with. This is the first in a series, but there will be a bunch of these videos. So thanks very much for your time, and I'm sure I'll see you again on a tips and tricks video for the Dream Rig. Thanks, guys.